Hey, it's Pam LeBlanc with the Austin American Statesman and Austin360.com. I love to run and walk all over Austin, but when I'm planning where I'm going to go, there's a couple of things that I look for. Water, for one. A handy bathroom helps, too, but it's the quirky stuff that really takes your mind off the actual exercise. One of the best places in Austin to see peacocks is at Mayfield Park. If you walk or run down the road there, you're almost guaranteed a peacock sighting. They'll be perching on the rails or walls there. Sometimes they're up on the rooftops and they make their hilarious peacock noises. Everybody knows about Mount Bennell, but you can hike up to the top of that and get a really cool view of the city, watch people down there on their stand-up paddle boards or boats, water skiing. It's beautiful. Scenic Drive is also a really great place to walk or run. It's a twisty, shady road and you get a really good view of the lake down below. I almost always incorporate a trip past Seton Hospital into my route because they have the most icy cold air conditioned lobby in all of Austin, I think, and they have drinking fountains and bathrooms. There's a house on West Rim Drive in Northwest Hills and the owners have put up a little water fountain right in the front yard and it's all done in mosaic tile and there's a little dog bowl underneath there so you can stop and get a drink. And I love this one. On Shoal Creek Boulevard, one family has put a swing and a tree in the front yard and then put up a little sign that invites you to take a free ride. It's really fun to run through the University of Texas campus on game day. Even at six o'clock in the morning, people are out setting up their tailgate parties, firing up the barbecue. It smells great and it's fun to look at the people. If you're on the University of Texas campus, you can swing by Jester dorm and get a drink of water and use the restroom if you need to. There's another great view of the city at St. Edwards University. If you just, if you're down south on Congress Avenue, you just swing into that main, main road through the campus and it overlooks downtown Austin. There's some nice trails that wind through the Mueller development at the old airport site in the middle of Austin. There's a really shady, less crowded portion of the hike and bike trail around Ladybird Lake, east of Interstate 35, kind of between I-35 and Pleasant Valley Road. If it's a hot, sunny day, that's a great place to cool off and get some shade. If you're in South Austin, it's fun to run by the Greetings from Austin mural that's in the 600 block of Annie. It looks like a giant postcard and it just makes me happy to see it. All over Austin on Saturday and Sunday mornings, some really nice homeowners put out water for the runners and walkers. There are portable toilets and a nice shady trail at Roy Guerrero Park on the south side of Ladybird Lake. And here's an idea. I always like to start or finish a run at some place that I can get breakfast. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a little bit of a pig, I guess, but it's fun to like park your car somewhere near Maudie's, go for a run, come back and, and have a taco when you're finished. If you're in the Clarksville neighborhood, you've got to run by the giant cement gorilla. Sometimes he's wearing costumes or they decorate him up for Halloween or whatever. And if you're in that same neighborhood, look right across the street and you can see the big colorful puppy and kitty that are in front of the Westland Veterinary Clinic. They're also always dressed up in cool costumes. And here's one last idea. If you have a membership in car to go I know some people who put their car to go card in their pocket, they'll take off on a run, and then they'll, they, they don't have to worry about how they're going to get back. They just find a car to go car, and then they drive home when they're finished. I hope you make it by a couple of these really fun attractions when you're out exercising. It really makes the run go by faster. I think you'll enjoy them.